Stephen, one of the seven deacons of the church at Jerusalem, stoned without the gate of the city by the Libertines, A.D. 34, shortly after the death of Christ. Stephen, which in Greek signifies a crown, was one of the seven deacons of the church at Jerusalem, a man full of faith and the wisdom of God, Acts 6, 5. He was well versed in the holy scriptures of the Old Testament and very eloquent. It happened that there arose certain of the sect of the Libertines, Cyrenians, Alexandrians, and of them Cilicia and of Asia, and disputed with Stephen. And they were not able to resist the wisdom and the spirit by which he spake. Then they suburned a few men to say, We have heard him speak blasphemous words against Moses and against God. And they stirred up the people and the elders and the scribes, and came upon him and caught him and brought him to the council, and set up false witnesses to say, This man ceaseth not to speak blasphemous words against this holy place and the law. For we have heard him say that this Jesus of Nazareth shall destroy this place and shall change the customs which Moses delivered us. And all that sat in the council, looking steadfastly on him, saw his face as it had been the face of an angel. Acts 6, 9-15 Then said the high priest to him, Are these things so? Thereupon this God-fearing man explained himself and answered with many reasons. He, moreover, adduced as if with a heavenly tongue and with uncontrovertible reasons many scriptures of the Old Testament to show that Christ is the true Messiah and that the gospel is true. Acts 7, 1-53 But when he began to speak with great warmth and to set before the eyes of his accusers their bloodthirstiness, their wrath was kindled the more against him, for these things cut them to the heart, and they gnashed on him with their teeth. Verse 54. But he, being full of the Holy Ghost, looked up into heaven and saw the glory of God, and Jesus standing at the right hand of God, and said, Behold, I see the heavens opened, and the Son of Man standing on the right hand of God. Verses 55 and 56. But they cried out with a loud voice, and stopped their ears, and ran upon him with one accord, and cast him out of the city, and stoned him. And the witnesses laid down their clothes at a young man's feet, whose name was Saul. Verses 57 and 58. In the meantime, he called and said, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. He kneeled down and cried with a loud voice, Lord, lay not this sin to their charge. And when he had said this, he fell asleep. Verses 59 and 60. Such was the end of this upright man, Stephen, to whom the honor of Jesus Christ was dearer than his own life. It is stated to have taken place in the year 34 after the birth of Christ, in the 19th year of the reign of Tiberius, which was the 38th year of his age. It happened in the seventh year of the baptism of Christ. This having occurred, some God-fearing men attended to the body and carried it to the grave, greatly lamenting this pious martyr. The stones were to him as rivers of sweetness.